Good day, folks. You're back again. This is my early, early 70s, possibly late 60s, but definitely early 70s. Um, Sears Cold Spot View Saver, made by Whirlpool. Finally got one. I've been looking for one of these for years because they're so dang cool and wide and short. Just makes long. That's what they're for. So you maximize your uh, window space. Got a very unique looking back. Similar to what the modern um, LGs have, their, their wall units. And it has a sticker on it still. Seeger compressor. So, yeah, we're going to fire this thing up. The daylight's fading and whatnot, so... Smoke test. Just trying to drop the phone. No, trying to drop the phone on this one. Smoke test! Sweet. These have a neat... Sliding grill. Unfortunately, my grill's kind of busted because I broke a slot here, and the two slides down here are gone. But yeah, yeah, whatever. At least I got the unit. Paid 40 bucks for this in Wilmington, Delaware, and I'm sure you saw the video on Air, the Air Chemistry Guys channel. Picked up his 23k uh, heat, con heat controller made work, and uh, this whirlpool. So yeah, uh, trying to thermostat all the way down. This does have auto cool, which is kind of like the um, auto cool on the prestiges, only on the earlier prestige. Uh, I mean, through the whole run, I forget. At least on the earlier ones, like the one I have, if you put on auto, it only switches between low fan and high fan. High fan when the room is warm, and low fan when the when you're getting close to satisfying the thermostat. This one does the same. So when it's like if you put the thermostat all the cold, it's like 80 degrees in your room, high fan for a while, then I believe it goes down to medium or low, I forget, and then it clicks off, and it's, an, and it's like an actual energy saver. So, anyways, high fan. Bearings are starting to go in this one, unfortunately, but, yeah, is what it is. Vents do work pretty good. Auto, so that turns it off, and low fan. There are thrust washers, either one. So we'll put it back to auto, and you'll hear the Seeger fire up, but it's pretty quite compressive, so here we go. Between speeds. It's a very smooth and quiet running compressor. Yeah, that fan is not happy at all. And kind of do a little super thrust thing with this. Horribly out of focus. Good God, camera. See, it's really not that loud on low. Not super even discharge either, but it's also only 6,000 B2s per hour. And these do take a while to build head pressure, or as long as the rotary, if not longer. Um, I said, unfortunately, my grill is busted. Which means all you gotta do to pull this off is just flick it out, which you shouldn't be able to do. There should be little um, little tabs down here, but they're all busted off. So this is the front side of the grill, which is personally my favorite. I just love that wood grain. And you got the other side, which, you know, don't get me wrong, isn't bad, but compared with the other one, eh, you can't beat the wood grain. <laughs> Still set that up there for now. I nice said. I'm sure you've all seen the insides of these at the AC meet when Christians was getting charged. So, it frosts up pretty good. Like, it's sticky and frosty, but these do take a while to get cold, so. Yeah. Anyways, um, back to auto. High. So, auto, which isn't quite as high as high. It's hot out. Turn the thermostat down. You know when the compressor kicks off and this clears up right away. So that's like, uh, it's run auto now. No, go down to low. Okay, so low, it does go down. So it goes like a, me a medium and a low is what switches in, be in between. Kicks the thermostat off. And the unit kicks off. 
and it clears up. Just like any other cold spot, you can't go from off to low, you gotta go to high. So, anyways, thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.